Hey guys, what's going on? It's Would You Rather Friday. What's up, Mr. I Try Hard? What's up, Kelly? What's up, Kelly's channel? Good to be here once again. Would you rather TGIF all those things? I'm happy. Yay! Yes! <laughs> all right. <laughs> Would you rather fight 70 house cats Whoa. or two full grown lions? Not a big fan of cats. Now, I'm, I'm going to be honest here. Not a big fan of cats. And I know they can get real feisty. Um, but tigers. Or with, with lions. Lions. Either way. Either way. Yeah, either well, way. Yeah, fine. yeah. Either way, I'm fine. Like, lions? Like, well, maybe. Okay, so here's the thing about lions. They are lazy. And they might not want to fight. So maybe I can, like, just, like, play cool and just, like, lay down and be all, like, lazy. And they're going to be like, oh, this guy just wants to sleep. And they'll just, like, let me be on my own and be fine. No, 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 no. In the question, they're attacking. God damn it. No, but. I, I'll go with the cats it's, then. You have to fight them. You can't just lay down. The question is, would you rather fight 70 <sighs> house cats or fight two grown lions? All right. Well, just give me the cats. The cats are going to be... Because I think I have a better... Like, okay. There is a 0% chance I will win a fight versus one lion, let, let alone two. It's not going to happen. There's nothing I can do. It's bigger, stronger, faster, everything more than I am. It's just not going to happen. The cats, I feel like I could probably, like... I mean... It, a lot of them, like, right, like, 70. So, like, I mean, I could probably punch a few of them. Like, I could probably get through, like, 20 before they start mauling me. But then, at that point, I don't know, like, I'd probably grab a chair. Like, I like I could use a weapon on a cat. I couldn't use a weapon on a lion. It just, doesn't, it, it just wouldn't even phase it. So, yeah, give me the cats on this one. I got this. Yeah, I think the cats depend on how many come at you at once. Like, if, like... I don't know, like, ten of them jump on you at once, you're gonna have a hard time. But if it's, like, maybe, like, one or two, you could, like, swing a bat or a chair or something and, and protect yourself. <laughs> could I throw, like, catnip across the room and, like, have them all go, like... Oh, like, like a monkey bomb? Yeah, exactly, like, one like, of those monkey bombs. on a bomb? <laughs> exactly, and just, like, have one of those like, catnip. <laughs> just throw that and just watch them go over there. That'd be oh, great. That's, that is horrible. <laughs> That would work, I though. just pictured it in my head, and it was so depressing. <laughs> it was, I mean, there were, no, no, like, you cannot be, like, sympathetic towards these cats. They want to kill you and rip your guts out and eat them. Like, you, like, you, you just gotta go ham. You know, there was a story of a cat that ate its owner's face. Some what? woman, she's, she was, like, in a really deep sleep or something, and it, it ate her face. Or maybe she was dead. I don't know. But the cat ate her face. Here's the, like here's the thing. Like how how desperate of a cat do you have to be in order to go and turn on your home, uh, t turn on the one that feeds you and eat its face? Like there, uh, like that cat must have been beaten as a child or as as a kitten or I uh, like I don't know traumatized or something. Or that woman wasn't feeding the cat and it just like because cats if you don't. If they get, like, hungry, which they're hungry all the time, they'll try and get food. But if you, like, go a day without feeding them, they'll start to try and eat everything. Oh, really? Yeah, they're evil creatures. Have you ever not fed one of your cats and had them, like, nibble on your toe or something? Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they'll bite, but they don't bite to eat, though. Oh, okay. Like So, I don't know. That one cat who ate the one's face, that's just weird. Uh, I still think cats is the best answer. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Alright, would you rather be a cartoon or an anime person living in the real world, or a real person living in a cartoon anime world? Oh, easy! Easy! Cartoon! Can I be a cartoon superhero? In the real <laughs> yeah, I world? I guess so. Because, I mean, like... You can like, be whatever you want to be. Exactly! So, I mean, being a cartoon character in the real world means you're awesome. Being a human or just a normal person in a cartoon where everything is fantastic, it's great, it's awesome, just makes you boring. Like you're like, oh, who's like who's this new guy who looks different? Oh, he's just boring, has no superpowers, does nothing. Not that colorful. Really, exactly. Isn't really important. He's kind of like he's not he's like standard dev, he's kind of like pixelated. It's just not cool. Easy answer. Alright, but do you think adults in the real world would treat you kind of like a little kid if you're a cartoon? Probably will, but once I take off my glasses and shoot lasers out of my eyes, they will take me seriously. <laughs> There's nothing they can do about it! I got superpowers, bitch! What are you gonna do? It's like, what? come on. What if you came back as a really annoying cartoon and just spent your time annoying everyone? Who is a really annoying cartoon character? I don't know. Well, like, uh, I, I, I still think... I mean, like, you, like, you can even be one of those really funny ones and just spend your entire life as a comic. Like a cartoon comic in real life would be hilarious and make make like bucks on bucks on like this like easy money. 
Like, this could work. Do you think that would be... Alright, do you think that would be better? Or being, like, a kid's cartoon character and making money off kids? Like, who? Like, you want to be Barney or something? No, wait, that's not cartoon. Wait, uh... It's not a cartoon, but, no. like... Uh, Roger yeah. Rabbit. Roger Rabbit. There we go. Roger <laughs> Rabbit's, like, one of the dirtiest cartoons ever. I don't know why I went for that, then. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go with, like, Mickey Mouse. Okay, okay, so you're so you're the real Mickey Mouse, or like the Roadrunner, or something, like or like I don't know, like Goofy or Dad, or was it Daffy Duck? I don't know, but like yeah, yeah, like well, like one of those, like that could, like you would be awesome. But wait, you would be so rich. Wait, because though, all kids want to meet a cartoon character. If you're a cartoon dog who can talk, do you instantly become somebody's pet? No. Why not? Dogs are pets. Dogs don't like I walk don't know. around. Maybe you do. Like, do you go out and like order like kind of like a coffee at Starbucks and get like shut down? Like, no, I'm sorry, we like we don't serve dogs here. It does just not gonna work. <laughs> no, what if you really did see a cartoon just like walking towards you? I'd be freaking out. I'd be like, am I on crack? What just happened? Would you like, get that like what the fuck moment? But I think this is like the movie Ted. After everybody's over that hype, you're just another human being and it's fine. Yeah, I guess. There you go, cartoon right. for the win. <laughs> Would you rather look eight months pregnant or Dude. always have a black eye? Black eye! As, okay, as a guy, my answer is going to be different than you as a girl. Because as a guy, having a black eye is like a sign of toughness, right? You got in a fight... And, like, you can always tell the worst story. Like, I fucked that dude up. Like, that dude is in the hospital. So he's got five concussions. Dude's almost dead. Like, I fucked him up. And I got a black guy for it. You look like a badass. You get all the chicks. They find that hot. It's a win-win. I don't want to be, like, fat and have a huge stomach and, like, walk around with back pain all the time. And, like, do I even get the symptoms of being pregnant? Like, like do I throw up and get nausea all the time? No, you just look like it. Either way, still sucks. Give me the black eye. Easy answer. I'm like, I'm not sure about you being a girl or anything. Like, no. Either way, this this shit sucks for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, if it's a black eye, they're gonna be like, oh god, her boyfriend beats her. Oh, well, she's damaged. Oh good. yeah, she's a crazy whore. I didn't think about that. You're fucked either way. <laughs> People are gonna be so nice to me. <laughs> I love these questions. Like you're fucked. Like this is great. Okay, so what's your answer? <laughs> oh my god, like. Everyone would be so nice to the girl with the black eye. They'd be so worried. They'd be like, are you okay, honey? Is everything all right at home? See, I'm not sure you would enjoy that because you, like, there would be an intervention every day. Like, like, like your coworkers would, like, hush, <laughs> hush you into a room and be like, Kelly, is there something you want to tell us at this point? <laughs> you always have a black eye. It's <laughs> never gone away. <laughs> and you'd be like, shut the fuck up. Like, I've, 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 I've been telling you for the past year. This is just going to stay there forever. And they're like... Kelly, are you sure you don't want to tell us anything? We can help. We're here you for you. You need to leave him if he's beating you. <laughs> oh, like, oh, oh. It and would then, be so annoying. And then, like, your boyfriend, like, they'd all want to kill him because they think that, like, they're like he's beating you. It'd be terrible for him. It'd be, it'd be gone yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone would be so mean to him. All right. And then, but with the pregnant thing, everyone's going to go up to you and be like, oh, how many months along oh are you? God. Like, all the time. And that's going to be equally obnoxious as hell. All right, so which obnoxious answer oh do you God. want? Oh. You, you know what? Here's here's my tip for you. Lay it all on Alex. Just get a black eye. You're fine. Yeah. Let's do it. But uh, that's going to be so annoying. You, I, you all right, want... I'll take the black eye. Cause there you, go. you know what? I could cover it up with makeup. We'll say I can't because then that's like totally just beating the question. You know how but... much makeup you'd have to put on? I could wear sunglasses at least. No, 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 this, ah, this, this is a big black eye that, like, even, like, the biggest Gucci glass. My whole face covered. is black. <laughs> Basically. Either way, people are going to notice. Yeah, well, I, I guess I'd rather have that than being pregnant. Smart move. All right, would you rather have a panic attack at the top of a 75-foot tree yeah. or 100 yards into the ocean from shore? Um, I'm... I I'm a pretty good swimmer. I took some lifeguard lessons as as a kid, so I I'm I, I wouldn't be scared of swimming. But if people don't know, like a hundred yards out in the ocean, there are a lot of currents. It's 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 really hard to swim back from that if you're not like in top like tip top physical condition. I am scared of heights though. That's a pretty high tree, so I think I'm gonna go with the ocean on this one, even though I'm not sure it's the smartest of ideas. Because like I feel like if I could easily die in the ocean, whereas if I'm in a tree, I could just hold on for dear life until I calm down and then climb down once I'm fine and just be like, 
it would be like heart wrenching and terrible. But if I'm in the ocean, I, I feel like I have more control over myself and I'd be able to at least float until I'm fine and then slowly make my way back to the shore. See, I don't know because I feel like you're going to be more stiff if you're having a panic attack, like you're going to be breathing hard, but right. you're going to be really stiff because you're scared. Yeah. That might be better if you're like just holding onto a tree or like sitting on a tree branch. The thing with like panic attacks is you start getting nauseous and like your head gets spinny and like you like you lose your sense of direction sometimes like if it gets real bad and I'm not sure you want that on top of a, like a high tree hanging Yeah, from it a feels like like if you don't know what a panic attack feels like I've had only I've only had one once. It was like I woke up in a like having a panic attack in college and it feels like a bear is in the room almost, and there's like nothing you can do to stop it. See, the way I would compare it is, it, it feels like your heart's gonna pump out of your chest. That's the way I was feeling it. Like when I've had some, yeah, it was that like, too. I felt like if I could, I could do nothing but sit there and wait it out. And the actual, the only trick here, here's a pro tip to all you panic panic attack people um douse your head in water like go into the washroom and and throw some water on your face because your body gets the instinct that it's diving and it slows your heart rate down and you calm down oh interesting see i'm not stupid <laughs> <laughs> no one said you were stupid <laughs> now they're all gonna say i'm stupid kelly <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding it's fine i don't care but then if you're like really freaking out in the ocean you might be like i don't know you might swim harder yeah, maybe. Like, like all like, that adrenaline going and all yeah. that like, crazy shit going on. Maybe you're all pumped and you're like, more adrenaline and more muscle and everything and I can swim faster and I'm awesome. Maybe that'll happen. But maybe you might not be thinking as good, though, and so you might True. just swim in a way in which you're not really doing much because you're stuck in a current. That's like, you have to swim a certain way if you're trying to get out of a current. Yeah, that's really easy to do in the ocean, too. Swim away from the shore or, like, swim at, like, a slant. And, uh, yeah, like, yeah, you just swim at the slant. And exactly. It's all yeah. good. I mean, either way, I still think you're fucked, but uh, ocean, I think, is better. Yeah, I think I have a better chance in the ocean. But, okay, what if this mm -hmm. ocean has, like, huge waves? So there's not much that you can... adds like a whole nother aspect to this. Well, if you're horrible. gonna add the waves, I'm gonna add the wind on the trees then. I guess you're far enough out at yeah. 100 yards. So I think you'll be able. I think the waves aren't gonna be that big of a deal. It's more the whole endurance back to the shore and the currents and, and just the cold water basically is gonna kill you. Well, not kill and you. And what you just said, <laughs> like apparently this diving thing. Yeah, exactly. Maybe maybe that'll help. It'll. Well, then perfect. We'll go with this answer because we're not stupid. There we go. We're smart. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed Would You Rather. Uh, like the video if you did. Of course. <laughs> Other than that, have a fantastic day. Go check out Mr. I Try Hard. Bye. Bye.